welcome to TechBridge Info. Today we will be learning about a transmission hydraulic circuit used in a construction equipment. We have seen uh, JCB machines, Caterpillar, l &D, like construction equipment in the field which are used for mainly construction activities. These machines are uh, hydraulically operated so their transmission is also hydraulically operated. So uh, today let's see how the hydraulic uh, circuit of its transmission actually works. You might be knowing the function of a transmission. Uh, the power coming from the engine reaches the rear wheels through the transmission. So the transmission consists of the gearbox and all other systems. Okay, now let's see how uh, the transmission hydraulic circuit works. Before that, let's identify the components. Uh, here we have uh, the torque converter over here. Uh, this is the oil cooler, the transmission oil cooler. Uh, this is the transmission oil pump. This is a charging pump. It's also called as a charging pump. Uh, this is a crescent type pump actually. So you might be knowing how a crescent type pump works. So here we have the torque converter relief valve. And this is the torque converter pressure regulating valve. And this is the oil filter, the transmission oil filter. Here we have the oil pressure maintenance valve. So this valve actually maintains the oil pressure for the uh, required operation. And this is the idler gear bearing. This is the uh, solenoid control valve. Here we have the forward reverse clutch unit over here. And this is the output shaft bearing. And this is the forward reverse uh, front shaft bearing. And this one over here is the oil uh, sum, the transmission oil sum and the transmission oil uh, strainer. So you might have noticed uh, this circuit I have used three colors, red, blue and green. Uh, the red one shows the full pressure line, uh, the green one shows the exhaust line and uh, the blue indicates the lubrication line. So now let's see how actually the hydraulic circuit of uh, the transmission uh, in a construction equipment works. So this is the charging pump or the transmission pump which actually pumps the transmission oil. So it sucks the oil from the uh, sump, the transmission oil is over here. So the charging pump sucks the oil and first it delivers the oil towards the oil filter. So the function of the oil filter is to filter the transmission oil coming. So if there is any impurities, the filter cleans it and it routes it towards the uh, oil pressure maintenance valve it is called PMV or it is also called as pressure maintenance valve so from the pressure maintenance valve we have two full pressure lines one as you can see over here from here it goes towards the torque converter you can see this line comes like this and gets towards the torque converter so this is the line which gives the pressured transmission oil towards the torque converter for its functioning the function of the torque converter uh, it, it actually the torque converter actually replaces a clutch so uh, the torque converter uh, multiplies the torque and uh, uh, from the torque converter the drive is actually reaching uh, the transmission that means the uh, energy or the power produced by the engine is taken by the torque converter and the torque converter supplies that energy towards the gearbox or the transmission so as it is a fluid coupling the transmission oil is a fluid used inside the torque converter so from here actually the torque converter gets its uh, fluid to work okay so uh, here we have the torque converter relief valve so uh, that line actually enters the torque converter relief valve and also the torque converter pressure regulating valve so if excess pressure is being created it is released through this green line this is exhaust line so so if an additional pressure is there, the torque and relief valve releases that pressure towards the um, uh, transmission oil sum. Okay. Uh, and uh, the return line from the torque converter is going towards the oil cooler. So it goes towards the oil cooler and cools the transmission oil because during this function the transmission oil gets heated up. So when oil gets heated up, uh, it have a chance to change it, its property. So it will not work properly. So to avoid that, uh, the transmission oil is being uh, passing through the oil cooler, which cools uh, the transmission oil. And then you can see from that line, 
the blue light, the oil, pulled oil, comes and it enters the forward reverse clutch unit. So it's used for actually uh, lubrication purpose also. It lubricates the forward and reverse clutch unit and also the output shaft bearing. Okay, so that circuit finishes all there. Now let's go and see the next one, which is coming down. So this is a full pressure line coming from the uh, pressure maintenance line. So this line comes over here and it enters the solenoid control valve. Okay, this is electrically operated. So what is the function of a solenoid control valve actually? So a solenoid control valve is uh, helping the forward and reverse or application. In a construction equipment, we have a forward and reverse switch. So as we select the forward switch, the solenoid uh, diverts the flow towards the forward reverse clutch unit so that the gears will rotate in a way that the machine can move forward. And when they reverse the reverse direction in the electrical unit, what happens is the solenoid will redirect the flow towards the forward reverse clutch unit so that uh, the gears rotate in such a manner that the machine can mobile in the reverse direction. So that's what a solenoid control valve is actually doing. Okay, so uh, that circuit ends here and from here it reaches the forward uh, reverse uh, control uh, clutch unit. Okay, now there is another line, there is an exhaust line coming from the uh, pressure maintenance valve which actually enters the idler gear bearing and lubricates the idler gear bearing and finally it is being uh, diverted towards the uh, transmission oil sump or the transmission oil tank. So um, that's how the whole uh, transmission uh, hydraulic circuit actually works. So I believe you got a brief idea about the working of the transmission hydraulic circuit of a construction equipment. For more technical videos, you can subscribe to us so that you will be getting uh, our new videos uh, daily. And also, please feel free to write us. Please click the like button or drop a comment so that it will help us to improve. Thanks for watching this video.